Situated in County Clare, the Cliffs of Moher Walk is a journey along the western coast of Ireland. The best place to start the walk is from the Cliffs of Moher viewing area. From here you can look out along the cliffs and in the distance you should be able to see a tower where the cliffs seem to end. That area is known as Hag's Head and this walk will take me to that tower and back again. A total of 8 kilometers. It should take less than 2 hours to reach the tower but may take longer as the views along the way are fantastic so I might be stopping a lot to take it all in. As I walk along the cliff edge and look back in the direction of where I started I can see O'Brien's tower. The tower was built in 1835 by Cornelius O'Brien, a descendant of Brian Boru, the last High King of Ireland. It was built with the help of the O'Briens of Bunratty Castle, Kings of Tormund, as an observation point for the hundreds of tourists who, even then, visited the cliffs. Cornelius O'Brien was a man ahead of his time, believing that the development of tourism would benefit the local economy here in the west of Ireland and bring the people out of poverty. O'Brien's tower was not his only project, in fact it was said of him that he built everything around here except the cliffs. The cliffs reached their highest point just north of O'Brien's tower, a staggering 214 metres above sea level. This walk is not dangerous unless you decide to get close to the edge, then it becomes very dangerous as there can be very strong gusts of wind that could easily blow you over the edge, so it is best to keep to the pathway. If you do decide to go close to the edge I would advise you crawl, and even then it is dangerous as erosion is constantly taking place. Looking down into the Atlantic from this height, it's terrifying, I feel dizzy. This walk is popular with both locals and tourists as it combines an easy walk with very rewarding views. There is a very clear path to follow so there is no need for a map or compass. The flagstone wall I'm sitting on runs almost the entire length of the Cliffs of Moher. It was built by Cornelius O'Brien the man responsible for building O'Brien's tower. Legend has it that he made a bet that he could build a wall six foot high but only one inch thick. The wall is in fact much lower than that and it was more than likely built to provide relief work during the Great Famine. There are some great places along the way to sit down, have a break and just enjoy the view. As I make my journey out towards Hag's Head, if I look to my right hand side out to the Atlantic, I can clearly see the Arran Islands. This is a group of three small islands located at the mouth of Galway Bay, which are home to some of the most stunning scenery in Ireland, with their barren rocky landscape and wild coastlines. Irish is the spoken language on these islands. The distinctive tower at Hag's Head is one of a number that were placed at high points along the west coast of Ireland in the days of sail to signal to British warships out at sea. Despite its medieval appearance, the signal tower dates from the era of the Napoleonic Wars and was erected in 1808. It's after taking me an hour and 20 minutes to walk here from the Cliffs of Moher Visitor Centre. The name of this area is called Hag's Head and it gets its name from a rock formation, another five minutes walk from here. Hag's head takes its name from the rock formation behind me. It's said to resemble an old woman sitting down staring out to sea. Here it is beside me, the Hag's Head, the rock formation that is said to resemble an old lady sitting down staring out to sea.